12th of March 2014, 7.30 in the evening. Pluto in Capricorn, take three, take four, whatever. I don't know how many videos I've done on it now. But here's an update as to where we are now. Let's just do a quick summary on Pluto first of all. Pluto on the negative side is about intensity and extreme. It is about crises and trauma. It is obsessive and compulsive. It is where you find the manipulative or the subversive, the underhand, the behind the scenes. But Pluto also rules words like purging and cleansing and detoxing and purifying and eliminating. Because of this, it has a reputation for ruthlessness, sometimes associated with its sign that it has its most common with, that of Scorpio. Ill-deserved, but nevertheless there if needed. On the positive side, Pluto is all about transformation, the changing of consciousness, the physical shape-shifting of the body, the changing of everything in life, the purifying and the transforming of matter into something more refined. It is about the caterpillar changing into the butterfly or the snake shedding its skin and ultimately the phoenix rising from the ashes. It is the transformative urge that lies within us all. And Pluto, as in its guise as Hades, the lord of the underworld, governs all of our deepest, most psychological urges. At the collective level, to have Pluto in the sign of Capricorn at this time and to currently for it to be about um, 35 to 40% of the way through this sign already in only six years, although it is slowing down fast. Capricorn has always, since time immemorial, been regarded as the sign of government. Whether this government be localised, as in local officialdom, whether it be more national with terms of hierarchical structures such as parliaments, or whether it be through um, monarchs or dictators, there's always that energy of the government of the people. And that is the nature of Capricorn, the structures, the patterns, the boundaries that go into the nature of government. And now Pluto's come to visit. And the old astrology books would say of this time that this was the time of world government. And here we are with various blocks of Russians and Chinese and Europeans and Americans all jostling for trade. And, and we've got the pigs and the bics and uh, world transformation of economic structures, armies downsizing, politicians becoming increasingly irrelevant. No one can, can cares what politicians think anymore because they just don't matter. They're outside the loop. They're simply out of touch. It suggests that we're in a deeply transformative time, a very volatile time, and a time where, particularly in the immediate short term, with the advent of the Grand Cross and Pluto's interaction with Jupiter-Uranus over the coming six weeks, it does suggest a somewhat subversive time with a lot of mystery, intrigue and secrecy in areas to do with law and order, governance. The more people try and suppress and hide their secrets at this time, the more they're going to come out in a almost surge of poison. There's so much stuff going to come up in the next six weeks, folks. It's going to get pretty grim. It's going to get pretty hideous, but then it's over. And I don't think we're going to be talking about Pluto come May, June, July. Oh, no. Then I'll be talking about Saturn and certainly Jupiter in a much more favourable way. But, you know, we're heading into the, the sharp end of the Grand Cross now. And Pluto in Capricorn is telling us to transform, rebirth and regenerate our concepts of governance. The ways that we empower other people to represent us and the ways in which we govern ourselves, the way we manage our own sense of self-responsibility, self-discipline and the boundaries we choose to live in. Pluto in Capricorn is revolutionising all of these ideals and not a moment too soon.